extra material. I can get good money, boy. I'm making money like that. And then the next time you see me, they have, they have 10 bicycles you've collected in Germany and taking them back and selling them to the French. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever busted. That's it. why I come back with thirty-three hundred dollars or something like that. In the account, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Survivor. Oh come on, How about a poster? Yeah, we blowed the we blowed the street out. You're gonna invite the little town in Minberg, Minberg, Germany. We were the first ones, first one there. Now, one of the times we were we was in the tanks instead of in the damn jeep, the jeep was left behind because it was moving so damn fast at that area in that area. And, and uh, took that yeah. took that little town and first okay. <laughs> hey, Corporal Kos Koski told me he said he was the tank tank corporal and he said he, he said Sergeant, there's, there's a bank right around the corner there and he says there ain't nobody around there ain't nobody here so can we fire on it and see what's in it <laughs> no you can't <laughs> he said i don't know why the hell we can't you know because he already told the burgermeister the first thing you do when you get into town in germany is call for the burgermeister which is the mayor the mayor yeah and tell the burgermeister said now get tell you go down the street and you tell everybody to bring all their cameras and all their guns and lay them in the middle of the street. Now, not later, because if we catch you with them, we're going to take you as a prisoner of war. So while he was going and doing all these shopping and going and walking down the street, and, and I think he had rode even rode a bicycle car that's not in his But anyway, while he was gone, uh, of course, Koski says, come on, Sergeant, let's, let's see what's in that safe. Let's see what's in that safe. It wasn't a very big safe, but, you know, maybe three foot square, five foot high. He fired two rounds of armor piercing into that dude, and the door flew off anyway. Just by accident. We all got a bunch of money, but they wouldn't let this cash it. You know, no. the only thing that was good to up to uh, five mil, you know, five marks was the biggest. That was fifty cents. That was the biggest bill you could get. Huh. It was a five. Anything bigger than a five mark was wasn't any good. It, it was, I think they have that in a movie. You it know. was destroyed. The money was destroyed. Or, yeah. I was going to say, what could have been worth it? No. I heard of it was the Battle of the Bulge movie or something. But we got some. Yeah, we the got the some of the old. Uh, okay. okay. Marks. They, the they old depression money movie. before. Wow. Really? You know, yeah. after World War I. Well, it's historical With all the beautiful pictures and everything, the kids and. All that stuff we got. I had a whole stack full of that stuff. I brought home and get it to the But that was all uh, like old counterfeits, you know. Like if it had been good, you know, some of them, some of them notes that we got that bank with them from, uh, you know, five and ten million dollars, million francs. Right. You know, I mean, big money, big money. You know. But in that, then uh, right after World War One, you know, it took five dollars to buy a loaf of bread in Germany. You know, so that was it was inflation money, which. Yeah. But they never did. Use, they hadn't used it in years. But it was really something to see. I, the banknote would have kids riding bicycles, going to school, and all that kind of stuff. And chickens are in the pen playing around, picking up corn, and all that kind of crap. Unbelievable. Uh, the bills? Beautiful. Oh yeah, all the bills. All the bills was different kinds of stuff. Like I say, up to I had some of like uh, was like fifty, like fifty million francs, man. Good God Almighty, boy! You talking? And you about didn't get to keep that. Oh yeah, I you brought money. We weren't worth nothing. Oh, you got one as a souvenir. Oh, I kept them as a souvenir. Yes. Brought them home. Can you take them back now and get fifty million francs out of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Wouldn't that be bitching? <laughs> well, it's still worth something. That's yeah. worth a few euros. Not maybe Yeah. <laughs> In a museum. Hmm. But they brought stuff, and I sent a bunch of stuff on my... Now you said you have a book from the, the mine Hitler sign. Oh, yeah. You have mine come? Do you have a picture, copy of that? A picture with it autographed. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, my huh. gosh. Yeah. I got it out of uh, Marshall Romel's home in Castle, Castle, Germany. Castle. Castle. They laid that town on the ground, you know? Yeah. Wow. K-A-S-S-E-L? Yeah, Castle, Germany. 
That's crazy. So you were there? You there was bunch was in his house. house. That's where I got yeah. the stuff. Yeah. The, the sword, the sword in the that what, year was that? what year was that? Really? That was 1944. Wow. He was in 44. He was gone. Now that's not, I've seen a photo of the SS headquarters in Kasern, maybe? K A S S R N. There was, a, there was a lot of that stuff went on that there was special forces. You know, that was all carried on with the, like, like the, not the MPs, but the, what they call them? Uh, CM, CMI, wasn't it CMI or civilian military in investigators or some, some, some kind of damn numbers they had, but they they were especially did and went into like his his old hideaway and of where he lived sure. in the mountains and all that that stuff was hell. They wouldn't go. They wouldn't let no goddamn guys with us there if we shoot. So a, how did you if, find we, if we shoot a hole in a little bank, ain't no damn what we do. We find chuckle chuckle of gold. What? But how did you get, it's so weird that you got into Rommel's house though. That's amazing. How did you find his house? You can look it up in the phone book or what? We just, by accident, but we, we were the first in the town and that's where we found all the whiskey we stored. Remember, all, we got all the whiskey and all the, all the gin and, and all of that. We found the warehouse that must have been you know, 10 times as big as this building with three stories and it was plumb full of whiskey that they had stole from France. Yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah. My section was the first section there and we just dumped everything out of the little cheap trailer we were pulling and filled it, filled it plumb full of four-star cognac, the best you can buy, and cherry brandy and vodka. <laughs> I went down that ramp one time. Just all this stuff. I always drank a lot. Yeah. He had a spout open. And then he. <laughs> 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 no, you, no, you, there probably wasn't a lot of soldiering going on that, hard, after that that day. It's hard for you to realize that this was his warehouse for the German army. Sure. And they well, they'd confiscated the wine from Italy and collected it everywhere. The cherry brandy all came from Palermo, Sicily. And they would all stored it in that warehouse. And I'm telling you, like he said, you drive a six by six truck right down through the damn center of the damn place. shopping, shopping. <laughs> Everybody had when the war was over. When the war was over, the the kitchen truck still had the twenty some cases of it. Oh my God! Had a party. I'll bet you did. I went one time to fill the canteen, and the canteen, the lister bag where you filled your canteens, it was full of beer with I fifty pound. Eyes in it. Because <laughs> Pilsen, Pilsen, Pilsen Czechoslovakia yeah. is the more beer capital of the world. Sure. Pilsen yeah. beer today is the most famous beer you can buy. Yeah. That, that guy, they just open the doors and yeah, all you want, take whatever you want, and they just start taking it by the kegs, so putting ice on it. That was that was a good part of that war. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 Liquor store at Stad, Czechoslovakia. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where the old man that has that silver, you know, and he had it in the ground, and there's some kind of machinery over there. And he says, Is there any way you can lift that up? Sure. So they took the uh, record of the truck, and went in there, and went in. It's full of whiskey. <laughs> we had guys. That was, we had more casualties from uh, from, from looters than we did from enemy. Because yeah. as soon as you was going to take a property, they'd go out in the backyard and bury all the stuff they wanted to keep. You know, like silverware, not silverware, or whiskey, or whatever the hell they wanted to say that was a value of any value. Because they knew that once they Push them away. They come. They get come back home, and they could dig it up. So that was, everybody had a long stick with a sharp point. Yeah. <laughs> you could find the ground that was soft. If it was soft ground, you knew damn well it just been replaced. You know, it could, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> metal. So that's like a metal detector, right? Yeah. 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 Cal Calvados. Calvados. Guys playing the cigarette lighter. Yeah. I read about the Calvados and I also drank some this last summer and I thought, boy, that's 180 proof. Woo! 
That stuff was rocket fuel. It was? Yeah. Better than an lighter fluid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is it made of apples? Apple. Yeah, we have green apples. All apples. Yeah. And, I, and uh, in Jerry E's stories, he talks about somebody that got strafed by a 109 and they were laying out there in the middle of the field and then. They're, they're, uh, Sadie Phillips. Well, yeah. Sadie Phillips. He was came drunk. out to get he him and they were just out like there that. laughing. With his arms stretched out and his mouth wide open, he's sound asleep. You know, they craving they didn't even know that happened. <laughs> <laughs> his wife was named Sadie, so that's what we call he was a really, uh, uh, he the, had to send him to school to learn to read and write. So he could sign the payroll and stuff. There was, we had 13 of them we did that one time. Came in out of uh, uh, all over in the southwest, Mississippi, yeah. Louisiana, Tennessee. But he was one of them. When we got through, that, this is good to show you his intelligence. We we got through and Captain Hazeltine came by with Czechoslovakia. Just, well, it was only two days before I came home, but he came through and says, Everybody brought everybody in and said, now we're going to have to get, teach you how to be civilians again. Whatever subject you think you would like to be whenever you get home, that's what we'll try to get somebody with some intelligence and, and that group that you'll be in, you know, regardless of what you choose. Yeah. And everybody was saying, they got everybody to sign the paper except Polis. He said, he said, uh, uh, I mean, Sadie Phillips, he said, uh, Corporal Phelps, he was a T5 driver for the video. He said, Corporal Phelps, what's the matter? said, there's nothing on that list that I can read, that I can understand, that I'm interested in. He said, well, why isn't there? And he says, well, as far as I can remember, my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father, and exactly what I'll do when I get home is make whiskey. <laughs> Oh my God. If, you, if you can teach me anything how to make whiskey, I'll be glad to come to your school, sir. I <laughs> <laughs> well, had some whiskey left in the back of my trailer and had it flap up and it's been in the great cotton brand house. Well, what's he got there? Why well, is this to sort of sort my load on Shore's trailer here? Well, let me see what he got. He came out with seven liter liquor, you know. <laughs> and then I said, no, take a hole right here. Yeah, Sadie, Sadie good Phil, on the ground. when we were in rest area a little while we were waiting for the Battle of the Bulls to come back up in Rodkin, Germany, he he, he got his got an old arm arm bedstead made of brass, brass bedstead, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's what he used for the tubes. And he got the uh, fruit and stuff, orange marmalade from the kitchen, came in 10 gallon, you know, gallon cans and raisins, came in gallon cans. And he got that dude and put, mixed it up in five gallon water jugs, and he piping that stuff through that damn orange, copper tubing and brass tubing. <laughs> he made his own whiskey while he was sitting out there, but nobody could stand it, man. <laughs> Even the odor would almost make you drunk. Oh, God, what a <laughs> horrible stuff. <laughs> and wouldn't they do it with Dr. Sauter to yeah. take all the oats yeah. to make whiskey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, brother, my brother was a, uh, uh, came in, the, he was in the engineering construction, and he assembled all the equipment after they brought them to France. That was, they, they had a regular assembly plant, you know, they put all the parts, the tanks, the jeeps, and all that stuff, and they put them back together in France. And that's what he did. He, they got a bunch of stuff and making their own whiskey and, and uh, five-gallon glass jugs. <laughs> they got a little bit too much stuff. And one of them was in a five-man pyramidal tent. <laughs> they came back from production one day, and there wasn't no tent. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to run around, what in the world happened, what happened, what happened? <laughs> the damn gallon jug, uh, five gallon jug, it blew up during the water. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. oh, oh, That's funny.
Yeah. I thought you could. You thought we're only doing it for fighting a war, huh? Well, no. <laughs> you've got a book. You've got a book of stories, though. You yeah. Can just start writing yeah, those really down. Yeah, write these down. The reason I had so funny. much fun, I didn't drink it. I yeah. Didn't <laughs> kind of what they did, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling them last night about the mess sergeant. You know, John Harton was a mess sergeant there in Sicily, and they had a weapons carrier and they called five gallon cans with line, white line cans with water. And uh, the back end of the weapons, a little three quarter ton weapons carrier, which is like our pickups are today to get an idea, you know. But anyway, he hauled about 15 of those five gallon cans and then he went back to get water and he, on the way, right, he passed the winery that he gave him all the wine he wanted, so he filled half of them all the wine. And half of them all the wine. And the other bit, he got into a big, big trouble. Again, they were pouring Ripsaw. wine everywhere, but dumping in them jugs. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh. Well, thank her. He was only supposed to get water, huh? Oh, John really liked to drink wine. <laughs> Some of them guys get along with it pretty good. Not me, man. I hated that stuff. They treat it like water over there. I got sick on it one time, and that was enough for me. I never liked it anymore. I went up here to William Beaumont Hospital, and they tested me for everything, from ulcers to whatever you can think of, for about five days and nights and finally told me you better go on back to do the one hell wrong with you. I gotta tell you what a damn breath. I, I got so damn drunk on wine. My brother was uh, in charge of the veterinary <laughs> here. Uh, and he, I thought I could do oh, anything yeah. he could do, you know, oh, but God. I found out I couldn't. Yeah. You know, yeah. him, and, yeah. him and I and Jim and Ed ended up in the cattleman's wow. bar down in El Paso. Man. And my brother, Jim and Ed, asked him to go. You mean in Juarez, right? The cattleman's no, no. So Cattleman's Bar in Here? El Paso. Here. In okay. fact, in fact, his first sergeant, my brother's first sergeant, owned the bar. Yeah. We uh, all got drunk and ended up. Uh, Jim and Ed was behind the bar drawing beer. One of them, anybody want any more beer? Anybody want any more beer? And my brother was sitting over there holding a couple of cavalry guys. At Calvary in those days, all you had to do to start a fight was we was all wore red ribbons with our children, and they were all yelling, and they just walk up to him and say, What do you yell about doing today? Oh, boy. That starts something. But anyway, they finally ended up. I was over in the corner underneath the table, and they cut to my brother first, and he said, You know, he got all the information. The MPs did all the information. They got Jim and Ed out from behind the bar. And Got the information. They come over to me and they said, I said, the hell, I just a bystander. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, and I give him my card and said, Well, that's damn funny. That's oh, your no, brother no, over no, there. No, and then I said, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Well, you're going right along with it. He took us all of it. Oh, oh, you were going to get a can and the oh, commander geez. came down the next morning and bailed us all out. Oh, <laughs> so that was in 41 or? That was in 41. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he oh. was in charge of the remount. He'd be talking about the horses now. And then, he was in charge of the veterinary remount. All the, all the wild horses came there for branding and inspections and shots and shot and cleaned up, you know, before they were turned to duty. Huh. They used wild horses? He ended up... So how did they train them? You train them? them. They rode them. They worked them. Sure they did. Any of you guys train them here, or was that well, part of everybody's detail? Most of them, most of them still, still as wild as the hair when they came to duty. Somebody was telling us uh, yesterday or the day before, that a lot of the horses, uh, you know, like Dad's, was it your cousin? Dad's brother. Dad, my grandfather's brother uh, raised remounts yeah. in Montana. Yeah. Yeah. But they would, yeah. they would select them yeah. and they'd yeah. have to have do one ride yeah. on them. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan. Yeah. 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 But they'd do one ride on them. Yeah. They only had to ride them one time yeah. before the army would buy them. We were watching one time. They like bays. Bucking out Dark you know. bays. Oh, see this guy off? <laughs> and the wind out of it. And I said, 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 I and uh, we just go right across the damn desert, you know, with them goddamn horses. But every five miles, 
horse. You went. You had a wet sponge, and you got off, and you wiped the dust out of the horse and your horse, and cleaned him up so he could breathe easy. <laughs> But you didn't have any You didn't give a damn water. whether you had any water or not. Or no. Well, if you didn't Take have a horse, horses. you were on foot then. Oh, <laughs> you better yeah. huh. oh. oh. Well, we got out to the farm range the first time, and then the big target said, hey, we got all the this wall around here, you know? 300 yards. Yeah. yeah. So our camel was out uh, here again. Oh, I was oh. under him, you know, <laughs> training. And that was the fifth oh. caliber. So he said, you think you can hit that target out there? Yeah. Uh, how about that red spot? Okay. I think it's a long time. Loaded up, and I put every fifth round. Her treasure, you know. Yeah. 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 He was a sharpshooter for the Army, went all over the world, uh, up, you know, Russia, was everywhere they had rifle matches, he represented the Army, U.S. Army, fantastic. I could say, he could tear, he could blindfold him and he could tear down any gun that the Army had, he could, he could blindfold him, he could tear it down and put it back there. He remembers well, unbelievable what you apply yourself can do, you know. And he didn't take no guff off of nobody. He, he, you know, he'd tell you one time in, in language you understood. If you didn't, it was too damn bad. And he kicked you in the shin the next time he went by. <laughs> now, were you issued just one, one horse, or did you have like uh, two or three, like in a string? Oh, at that time, I... If you're, you're assigned, like I was assigned the wheel team, I was assigned okay. two horses and harness that took yes. care of it completely. Yeah. You cleaned them and brushed them when you brought them back, tied them in the stalls. Yeah. Then the stable personnel took care of the feeding and stuff. Mm -hmm. You cleaned them up and brushed them, put them back in the stall. Yeah. Each one of them had a number. Every horse had a number. Yeah. Every stall had a number. So didn't they have some horses that were just harnessed next to the wagon, like an extra, and going along? They were running those. The cannoneers rode single mounts. Yeah, yeah five man gun crew who rode single mounts. We need a recorder for your hmm. dad. Yeah, I know we do. Yeah, next year yeah, I'll be one. It's fun to get out there. <laughs> those damn sand hills are three to five, six foot high, and it's, it's fun as hell running across them dudes full, roof, full gore with a gun behind you. That's what I tell them, Mama. You, girl, just, just give a, you look behind and the gun's higher than you are and you're a horseback, you know, there's something wrong. <laughs> something might be come, coming over the top of you. Yeah, you know the hill that you just came over. Yeah, in front of you. <laughs> yeah. 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 So are we then riding with no stirrups? Yeah. You see it unless you have stirrups for the first three Develop weeks. Your, uh, your grip uh, and your... Yeah, learn to grip, boy. Yeah. Your legs get so damn sore. Uh, See, that's something we need to learn. You guys have Alan out there go run. You ride guys ought to come stir. to If we're at home now, they have camel races. They have to ride oh, them bareback with no saddle. Yeah. Whoa. We have camel races every year at uh, yeah. Virginia, Virginia City. City. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were just last week. It's usually the same week we have hot August night. The old car. Mm -hmm. You ever been to the uh, Mule Races in Bishop, California? Yeah. yeah. You go there? I haven't been. I've just read about it. I've always well, wanted to go there. Yeah. Man, They've got them now in Winnemucca, right north of Reno. Oh, yeah? They, they're yeah. raising them. So, yeah. Now they got all these. Mules got, got real popular, and, and a good mule costs more than a horse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they crossbreed them now with race horse, third right. race. Yeah. Now there's one guy Side in, uh, the thing in the there's a Glenbrook. But there's, uh, there's, Oregon, uh, there's a tour. Colorado. Like now. His bread is breeding Richard Quartermere with zebras. And you should see the coat yeah. out of this world. Every one of them has a black and white stripes on their legs. Oh. And the rest of them looks just like a quarter horse. Oh. Really? Isn't that that's something? Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. He said it's really going to be Party. great. Are they oh. artificial? Are they artificial? Are they going to be artificial It's only with the air. Yeah, because I don't think yeah. they'll oh. make it. That's the only way he does it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
you can go yeah. over there. The, there is no guy. Yeah, the zebra won't have anything to do with it. I'll be the guy. I used to yeah. inseminate cows. I don't know what I'm looking yeah. at. Yeah. I managed the feedlot. I did that for about a year. Oh, yeah. You're going to be the tour, first. really? I'll be the tour. I'll make right, it up as I go. You just make it up as I go. You want to check? You want to check? Male jackal. Male jackal. I'm going to be Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen some of those in some magazines. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, he went back to grab Kelly and. Well, those are some ma amazing stories, Jim. Those are great stories. Oh, that's my knitting. And John and everybody else is here still today. That's your knitting instruction. Yeah, I forgot. I dropped it out of my they bag. They got jalapeno. <laughs> Was that yeah. yours? Yeah. Are you learning how to knit? Cooler, <laughs> <laughs> lucky bag. How to We're make two bags? I got two bags. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say I wanted a bag. Hey, shoot, kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, I have to get somebody to thread the needle. I can't see the needle anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shoot. Well, what are we supposed to find out about now? Hey, Jim, you've been looking at pictures of the eye. Who's this guy here? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy here? Who's this guy here? He's a handsome dude. Thank you. We've had him exit. Oh. Kurt Douglas and... That could be. It's one of those movie stars. It's that dimple. One of those movie stars <laughs> playing... Uh, like okay, one thing about it. Okay, one thing that I can tell you about the picture. Well, you didn't. Sitting on the goddamn German spider gallon gas can. Oh, crap. You know what? I'm going to Well, at least you can see it. I wonder if that's where the term Jerry is. Anybody need a ride back to the hotel? I don't know the guy. Okay. I don't know what he's setting on. So you're going to the museum? Hmm? You're going to the museum? And then back to the hotel from there? I guess. 